for tuning in and cook with April on Tasty Tuesday with our taste tester Justin. Hello. You guys, oh my goodness. Okay, so this doesn't look exactly like it, but it's definitely a dupe and it's really, really good. It's like a copycat version of the Knott's Berry Farm Strawberry Shortbread Cookies with icing, so it makes it sweet and delicious. So stay tuned, you guys. For this cookie, you're gonna need butter, all-purpose flour, granulated white sugar, powdered sugar, strawberry jam, milk, and two um, vanilla extracts. I have it in two different um, measurement cups because I'm gonna need it for the cookie as well as the icing. I'll have the precise measurements in the information box as always, so let's begin, you guys. So, in a medium to large bowl, you're going to place your softened butter and your granulated white sugar and cream that together. I like using a hand mixer, but you can also use a stand mixer. Now you're ready to add the vanilla extract and mix. After that, you are ready to gradually add the all-purpose white flour. So let's do that. And we're doing this on a low setting. You guys, I'm wearing gloves simply because I have like press on nails. <laughs> um, as you can see, this is now dough. You can just connect all the dough together. And then you're gonna grab like one inch balls or one and a half inch balls and roll it into a circle like this. You're going to place it on an ungreased cookie sheet like this. Now that we have rolled up the balls, I'm, instead of using my finger or my thumb, you can use your thumb if you want, but I like using a one teaspoon measuring spoon and I like pressing down like this. And you guys see that? That's where I'm gonna put the jam. So let's go ahead and do that. Just press down and that's where the yummy jam is gonna get to. It's like a little cup. I made it a little container for jam. So now you're gonna fill up that little area with the jam. Try not to do too much, but I'm that type of person who goes a little crazy, so I'm gonna try my best not to put too much. Now you're ready to bake at 350 degrees for about 14 minutes. For icing, we have the confectioner sugar, and then you're ready to add the vanilla extract and the milk, and you're just going to mix. And this is gonna turn into a nice liquid form that you can drizzle right on top of the cookies once it comes out of the oven. The cookies are ready, and now you're ready to just add a little bit of that glaze right on top of the cookie. Goodness. I, I like to taste it before we do taste testing. Man, mm. it's good, you guys. Ooh. I have not tried it yet. It so is buttery. Go. The glaze is just the like right amount of sweetness. It's hot, though. Be careful. It's really hot. Isn't that good? <laughs> Holy moly. Whoa. That shortbread cookie itself. Oh, so good, you guys. This is amazing. It, it is. is so moist. I wasn't actually quite sure what you were making while you were making it. I know. Because I, I don't know, but then once I saw the jam go in, I was like, oh, I've had those before. Yeah, I didn't know what they're called. Like they're, I call them These are very delicious fun. and they're warm. Oh, yeah. And they're like melty with the drizzle on it. Mm -hmm. Honey, delicious. Yes, I even got some for Liam's teachers. Hope they like These, it. This is a very, very good holiday recipe. Mm -hmm. Like it to is. give as a gift or something. It is because mm -hmm. it's, I don't know, it looks festive. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? 
Like anything that looks red or pinkish, mm -hmm. like or green, yeah. you know, something like that. Totally. It's very festive. Mm -hmm. And if you guys want, you can make little shapes with it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. instead of like just a regular mm -hmm. circle. And then just, you know, put your thumb in there and then mm -hmm. put the jam. It's good, you guys. So good. Yeah, anyhow, if you enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. Also, subscribe to our vlog, April Justin TV, and my makeup channel, April Athena 7. And we will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.